You might have seen those teeth straightening ads pop up on your social media feeds. It's easy to be sucked in by the impressive before and after photos, but experts say these kits could come back to bite you. DIY dentistry. Who would have thought? Promising time-conscious Aussies that picture-perfect smile at a fraction of the price and without a trip to the dentist. Anybody, especially being female, you want to be able to smile and bring your teeth out. The latest offering, teeth straightening from the comfort of your own home. It is doing it direct to consumer, so we, we don't need to have face-to-face -face visits. But could this cosmetic quick fix come at a cost? There are some cases where there's actually been tooth loss. At-home teeth straightening is big business in the US, where a Hollywood smile is always in hot demand. Now, one of the biggest American companies has launched in Australia, claiming to offer a more affordable and convenient alternative to in-chair treatments like braces and Invisalign. Smile Direct Club absolutely changed my life. Smile Direct is just one of many in this rapidly growing market. Sydney-based company Easy Smile is also promising that perfect look in just six months. So they're pretty much like a, a retainer that I used to get with my braces. Yes, they're very, very similar. They're just a clear, clear aligner, an invisible aligner that you put in your mouth that gently applies pressure to your teeth to move them to the desired position. Ed Ambrosius is the founder of Easy Smile, which has been approved by the TGA. And how often do you have to wear these? You need to wear them 20 to 22 hours a day, every day. So basically they're only out when you're drinking hot liquid or eating. Claire Point finished her treatment a year ago. She was chosen by Easy Smile to promote its success. How concerned were you with your teeth? Oh, it was something that I was never happy with. I always felt like I had to hide my smile. I could never just openly smile in photos. I was so impressed with the result and for the short time that it took of six months. These at-home dental companies say they've achieved great results for thousands of customers, many in remote areas where visiting a dentist or orthodontist isn't always easy. But are they safe? We're seeing some issues with uh, people's bites. Sometimes the teeth can't be moved where they want them to move. Uh, we're also seeing teeth being malaligned in such a way that they have a severe gum recession and issues uh, with some pain management. Dr Carmelo Bonanno is from the Australian Dental Association. It's such a new service in Australia that we don't have any data here, but we're aware from uh, overseas uh, experiences that they're seeing a number of uh, issues with these treatments. I think one of the biggest problems, I guess, for orthodontists and dentists is that you don't offer that in-chair clinical care. Obviously, that must come with some risk. Uh, no, what we do is we go through that process, the application process. Uh, there is a series of photographs that we take. The orthodontist reviews those uh, and the, the orthodontist can determine the suitability. But those orthodontists aren't based here in Australia. They're based in China, in manufacturing facilities based in China. But the lab that we use has treated well in excess of 100,000 customers globally, um, very successfully. OK, so you're comfortable with I'm, having overseas I'm, dentists and I'm orthodontists dealing with your clients? I am 100% comfortable that, that the, of the safety the, um, and the efficacy of, of the Easy Smile treatment system. With the straightening kits coming from China, that's one of the main reasons companies like Easy Smile can produce its products at such an affordable price. Its package is $2,149, compared to in-chair treatments like Invisalign or braces, which can cost up to $10,000. I guess there's no doubt that you're a lot cheaper, but is it the case that you get what you pay for? We have treated several thousand people and we are, m m vast majority of those people have had exceptional results. Dr Howard Holmes from the Australian Society of Orthodontists also has concerns about DIY treatments. There's a distinct lack of regulation, uh, uh, which is even more concerning because that leads to questions about accountability if there are uh, complications or dissatisfied customers. He's calling on the Dental Board of Australia to tighten the rules before it's too late. We do require the regulators to step up and protect the public because that is their job.
only get one set of adult teeth, so please do look after them.